Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching Fruitech. So I flashed the superior OS on my OnePlus 6. This is the another non retrofit Android 13 based amazing custom ROM by the developer Vikasak Optimus. Superior OS is aftermarket software which is aimed to provide you near stock ROM experience along with the lots of usual features, stability and performance. As this is the non retrofit build I created another video how you can revert back to the normal partition scheme from the dynamic partition scheme and how you can flash the non retrofit builds from the scratch. You can check that video from the iCard. You can use that video for first time flashing of Android 12 or 13 based custom ROMs also. I already flashed the superior OS and on 8th of March we got another OTA update in the stock updater. Here we get the complete change log of new update. But as I already downloaded the new update, so I booted to the TWRP by powering up the device and long pressing volume down plus power button. In the TWRP we just need to tap install and flash the ROM, then tap advanced menu, tap flash current TWRP if you want to retain the TWRP. Now reboot to the system, no need to wipe the data. Phone started to boot, so today in this video we will do all the basic checkups like what's working as this is the first build we are testing we will check all the features available in the rom along with the performance and comparison with the other custom roms finally at the end i discussed some bugs or the issues with my final verdict so watch the video till the end now without further ado let's get started on the new adventure Phone started to boot into the superior OS awesome boot animation. ROM didn't have the pixel launcher, it has its own superior launcher. Stock wallpaper of ROM looks amazing. Now let's jump to the about phone to check the details of this new superior OS. At the top we get the details of the device along with the currently running wallpaper on the top. This is the superior OS 13 along with the G apps. ROM is based on the latest Android 13 sources with the same material you clocked history. Security patch is of 5th February 2023. Though build is released on the March, we didn't get the March security patches. It will be available in the upcoming builds. Kernel version is 4.9.333. It's a premise kernel builded with the latest Clang toolchain 14. So ROM is up to date with the, all the latest sources. As this is the first build, I am testing for the super errors. So I did all the basic function checkups like the Wi-Fi and Wi-Fi hotspot. Both are working with the stable network connections. Bluetooth is working with the, all the HD codec support. GPS is working good. NFC is working. Few LT incoming and outgoing calls are working. Wi-Fi calling is available and is also working fine. As the light sensor is working, auto brightness is also working fine. OnePlus alert slider is working, on screen and off screen OK Google is working without any issues. Fingerprint and face unlock both are working and they are blazing fast with the great accuracy. Google photo app has the unlimited photo backup. Later I did all the sensor tests like the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope all are working good. Other features like the vibration motor, ear proximity, microphone, ear speaker, camera light, multi-touch display, these functions are working good without any issues. Now let's check out the important part that is safety net. Safety net got passes so we can run all the banking and security related application in this custom ROM. Data storage status is encrypted so your personal data is safe. Now let's check out the camera, ROM has the lineage of Supporter camera application. ROM didn't comes with the Oxonus camera or gallery application. Lineage Apache camera application is pretty basic app which didn't have any portrait mode or other features but video recording has the 4K recording working. It has built in code scanner too. I installed Google Gcam MGC build. Let's check out what's working in this camera build. Google night mode feature is available and it's working. Portrait mode for the both the front and the back camera is working good. Picture has very good background blur effect. For the video recording, slow motion is not working. It's taking video recording, but it doesn't have slow motion effect. Time lapse video recording is available and it's working. Camera has the video stabilization modes and they are actually working while shooting the videos. 4K recording is available, but it's not working at 60 FPS. 180p 60 FPS video recording is working fine. 
Panorama and Photosphere mode both are working. So basically Google Cam is pretty stable with some flaws. Hope developer will add fully working OnePlus camera build in upcoming builds. So we did the basic checkups of all important functions and 99% of them are working fine. Now let's check out the features that this ROM offers. ROM has the superior lab customization under the main setting of the device. As this is the earlier build, developer has not added most of the features but they will gradually add it step by step in upcoming builds. Under the Superior Lab, all the customizations are well arranged in the different apps like the status bar, quick setting, buttons, etc. So we will check out only important part here. In the quick setting tab, we get the hide label toggle which gives the clean look to the quick setting panel. Centered alignment for the tile name is another toggle which aligns the tile names to the center of quick setting tiles. Under the buttons tab, we get the volume panel wake up and playback control. Both are working but the volume button wake up option has some issues that we will discuss in the bug section of the video. Under the navigation bar we get the advanced setting for the nav bar like long swipe back gesture option. We have to just assign the different activities for the long back gesture swipes and it will give the multiple functional uses for the long swipe action of the back gesture. Music playback pulse is also available here and is working well on the nav bar lock screen and on the ambient display. Under the theme tab we get the bunch of different body fonts, system icon packs, signal icon styles, Wi-Fi icon styles, multiple icon shapes for the app drawer applications. New different style navigation bars are available. Under the mission setting we get the ignore secure flag toggle. Unlock high FPS is the place bow setting in the real world users it's not working. Unlimited photo back is already working in this ROM. So these are only few customizations we got in the superior lab but under the display and lock screen we guess now playing feature but it's also not working. Ambient edge lighting notification indicator is available and it's working very well. We guess the different display color modes like the natural, boosted, saturated, adaptive mode etc. Double tap to wake is available and it's working but still it has some issues that we will discuss under the bugs part. Full screen application setting is available which helps to enable the full screen mode for the applications which are not supporting the full screen. Under the wallpaper and styles application we case the themed icon setting and it's working. ROM has the superior launcher, it's not have much of the features implemented now but it has themed app door icons toggle and it's working. Except this I didn't found much advanced functions like the taskbar, recent panel shortcuts etc. ROM comes with the OnePlus Advanced setting which has manual and high automatic brightness control. It has DC dimming and band display advanced features. We also get the FPS overlay along with the vibration haptics control sliders. So these are all the features we discussed and now let's test the performance of this ROM. I am using this ROM from last 5 days and it's really but really smooth. Apps opening, closing, switching between applications, animations, RAM management, all the things are really amazing. I didn't feel I am using 7 year old device on this ROM. All the applications are running on the 60fps, even the camera applications is running on the 60fps. When I ran the Geekbench I got the score of 556 and 1952 for the single and multi core respectively. Both of these scores are nearly same as most of the custom ROM but the single core is lot improved and it's similar to the last unofficial Evolution X we tested. For the OpenGL Graphics API, I got the score of 2012 and for the Hulkan Graphics API, I got the score of 1923. Old unofficial retrofit Evolution X build has slightly better results than this build but it's very close touch. Overall, all the numerically and in real world fuses, this ROM is closer to the top contender ROMs for the OnePlus 6 and 60. Now it comes the most important part that is bugs and issues in the ROM. ROM didn't have major issues but there are some minor bugs and some missing features. First one is no call recording function is available in the dialer. Maybe in upcoming build developer will add such missing features. Wide wine is on L3. This is actually same case for the all the custom ROM. So we can't stream Netflix and the Amazon Prime at the full HD resolution. But the device play protect is certified. Under the button tab we case the volume control rocker wake up option. But it only works on the off screen mode. If we enable the always on display, it's not working on the AOD mode. Under the gesture setting of the superior lab or the under the lock screen display setting, we get the double tap to wake the device. 
it working but sometime i feel it's waking the device late this is not a prominent issue who didn't get the double tap to sleep on the lock screen so these are only minor issues i found except that the rest are just absolutely fine so i definitely think if the optimus prime give the regular support to this rom it will be at the top of the recommendation list currently optimus prime said that he will drop the support for all the roms because of his personal issue but i don't think this is going to happen after talking with him personally so wait for more time for 100% clarification from his side but from my side you don't have to worry my support is endless i will try to upload each and every rom review on our channel until the last breath of my oneplus 6 That's it for today guys hope you liked my work if yes then please do like and share this video subscribe our channel press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content thanks for watching see you next time take care bye bye